Hello and welcome back to the final part of the HTS program. This is your third month, so hopefully you've gone through month one and month two and you've progressed through those exercises. We hope you have because this one gets a lot more challenging. So this is the big finale. Some great exercises in here, some great combinations. Sequencing these movements together in the different zones is going to become very challenging, very challenging as a total body workout. Andy's going to demonstrate the exercises now quickly for us, and we'll go through each zone at, one at a time. So the first exercise with the core bag, this is a combination of movements. Starts with a clean into a front squat, into a press, into a push-up on the bag, into a bent-over row. Okay, we'll perform that once more. Clean first, into your squat, into your press, onto the ground, into the push-up, chest the bag, extend, and then come into a bent-over row. Okay? So that's exercise number one. Remember, it's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You've got your 15 seconds to move on to the next one. This time with a suspension trainer, it's one foot in. So it's going to be single strap. This is a challenging sequence of movements. First of all, we've got to do a single leg jackknife. We drop down onto the floor with our chest onto the floor. So we're going to come up into a burpee and a knee drive. OK, let's sequence that together now with a little bit of speed. So jackknife, down onto the ground, up into our burpee. With that knee drive, we're trying to extend through our hip as well. This is a really nice combination of movements, but very, very challenging. If you're doing one leg on the first round, maybe the second round that you come around to, obviously swap the legs, so you're using both legs. Okay? So that's the second exercise. Moving on to the third exercise with the gripper, we've got a swing into overhead lunge. Okay? So he's going to swing first, he's going to lunge out, and he's going to bring the gripper over the head as he lunges. When he does bring that gripper over the head as he lunges, he's going to make sure he's really strong through his core, strong through his hips and pelvis, so it's nice and stable. Okay, so we're supporting through that lumbar spine area. So it's always a swing first. You've got to focus on pushing back, keeping the legs a little bit wider, so don't step back into a, a close stance, a narrow stance, a little bit wider so you can swing each time. Okay, lovely. And our final zone, our body weight zone here, this body weight conditioning exercise is a great combination of movements. Andy does this really well. He moves like a little ninja. So have a look at these exercises sequence together. Foot reach through on both sides. Into a frogger. Into a jump. And then roll back onto your back and bring your feet over. Back to that position and you're back again to the start. Foot reach through into the frogger. So that's knees up past the elbows into a jump. Roll back. Feet touch the ground and back to the start. Let's do one more, sequ one more of those. Okay, so you can see how they flow together nicely. And that's what it's all about, just sequencing the movements together. And job done. Okay, so that's your final four exercises in the HTS programs. You can see how moving from zone to zone works really well. It's easy to do. With an HTS system, you can have lots of people all working in lines, all working out together. So it's a great way to program small group training and a great way for you as a trainer to look after all of your clients. So have a go at that one and have a go at the, at the three levels. Obviously follow the article and you can see the workouts broken down there for you in detail. Hope you enjoy it and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.